I found this fabric from Joanne Fabrics. It's a cotton fabric and it has some spandex in it. And I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to make with this, so I just pinned it to the dress form. And I like the way it's looking. I think it looks really cute. So I'm kind of thinking that I might want to do some type of bodycon dress. I think what I'm going to do is just stitch this down, not too tight, and then I'm going to try it on and make some adjustments. And then it may just be like a one seam dress. I'll do one seam in the back. Put some elastic around the top maybe add some straps I'm not sure but this is something that I'm planning on working on soon so I don't know if I'm gonna have it done in this video but whenever I get it done I'll be sure to share what I came up with after I took the dress off the dress form I was like it's just one seam why would I wait to do this dress it's so simple so I did put a basting stitch where is it I put a basting stitch down the back and then I tried it on and I like the way it's fitting so far where is it is this the right piece? Oh, this is the leftover fabric. Let me get the real deal. Wow, I have a lot left over. Okay, yes, here it is. So I put a basting stitch down the back of the dress and then I tried it on and it's so simple, so easy. When I was in Joann's the other day, I actually saw sheared fabric where a portion of the fabric is sheared and then the rest of the fabric is not sheared and you can just make a one seam dress or top or whatever. And when I saw this and the whole thing is like sheared, I was like, oh, that's kind of different. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my serger and put the permanent stitch in and then try everything back on and if I need to make adjustments I can do it after I do all that. So this is what I have so far and this is the back. I like it. I think I do want to go ahead and add some straps and I have plenty of fabric to do that so that's what I'm going to work on next and I'm going to have to wear some type of bustier under this. I cut four rectangular pieces of fabric. I attached two of these to the front of the dress, two of these to the back of the dress. I was able to pull the straps together to create a bow that will go on the shoulders. The dress is pretty much done. I just think I want to see what it would look like with a little ruffle on the bottom. So I am going to cut some strips of fabric and then I'm going to sew these strips together and then gather the top and attach it to the bottom of the dress and see how I like that. The other day I went to Savers the thrift store and I was walking around the thrift store. I went there because I wanted to find some denim. So I made it to the denim section and then I started looking through the different jeans. I was looking through men's jeans, women's jeans. I didn't care. I just wanted to pick up some denim. And I was actually looking for denim that had really cute designs and a lot of top stitching and things like that for my next project which I cannot wait to share with you and I did find some things and I checked out I went to Sephora a couple days ago I was looking for a mascara so I asked the sales lady for the particular mascara that I was interested in so she walked me over to that section pulled open the drawer they didn't have it so I was like okay that's fine so then she said I know of two other brands in the store that are similar you want to check them out I'm like sure so I'm following her around so we get to the second brand pulled open the drawer they didn't have it so I'm like oh my goodness so then she takes me to the third brand that she had in mind same thing so then the third time she was like well let me go in the back and see if they have it in the back so while she goes in the back, I start kind of looking around the store, waiting on her to come back out. So I mosey on over to the perfume section. And I tried this one particular perfume on and it smelled really good. So I was like, hmm, that's interesting, but I didn't get it. So then she comes out and she's like, no, we don't have it. We don't have any of them. So once she said she didn't have any of the brands, I just ended up ordering that mascara online. 
so once I left the store that perfume I had on was just kind of lingering in the air and it smells so nice so long story to say I'm sitting in front of that same Sephora store I'm going in right now and I'm gonna pick up that perfume because I couldn't stop thinking about it and it just smells so good so they didn't have these three mascaras but I am hoping that they have this perfume check to see if you had one of the perfumes over there in the okay, corner. Okay, I will check for you. Let me get Yes, they had it. I'm so happy. So this is Kaoli and this is how it looks in the box. On the back it says pear, jasmine, coconut, sandalwood, and vanilla bourbon. So those must be the other scents. Whew. These are all the things that I have to talk to you about. When I came home yesterday from Sephora, my box was here. So let me show you what I ordered. It's a big box for a little item. It is the brown mascara from YSL and it is a big tube but this had really great reviews so I wanted to give it a try so I got that then the other day when I was at Savers I picked up quite a few jeans so this is a pair they're kind of big but I like the pockets on the back and I was going through my closet also looking for things that I don't really wear very much. And I even have a pile over there of some other things that were in my closet. But the whole plan is I want to make a patchwork denim jacket. So I plan to cut up these jeans and cut up these different pieces of denim. And then I want to patch them together until I get like a big piece of fabric. And then I'm going to lay the pattern piece on top of that patchwork denim. And then I'm going to cut out the pattern pieces from that and then put everything together to make a jacket. I picked this up from Savers. And I like this because it had the different colors here in the legs. And then it has the top stitching right here. And I thought this was really cute. So let me share with you the pattern that I plan to use. This pattern is Butterick 5652. It says that it is fast and easy. This is a pattern from 1991. So this is considered vintage. And I wanna make view B, it has a hood on it. And it does call for a zipper up the front and some elastic. So those are the only two notions that I'll, I'll need besides interfacing. So this is what I'm about to start working on. So the stuff with tags on it still needs to be washed. So I'm going to put that to the side. Does this have tags? Yep. Yeah. And the stuff that I already had that has been washed, I can go ahead and get started on that. So this is probably going to take a while to cut everything up the way that I want it to go. But I'm going to put on some music and get this job done. been working on piecing fabric together for this back pattern piece this piece is supposed to be cut on the fold so I've been laying out the pieces just to get a piece big enough that I can fold it in half and I think this is going to work I like the way this is looking so far I have just gently placed the pieces on top of each other and then I'm going to take my glue stick and I'm just going to glue these pieces down to each other and then I'll stick it under my machine and then stitch it down so that it will be one big piece of fabric and then I can cut my back pattern piece out. The view that I'm making has six pattern pieces that I cut out and I did cut out a size six 
And so far, this has been pretty fun. It's a little time consuming, but other than that, I've been enjoying the process. I was trying to figure out what color thread I want to use to sew everything down. I ran out of navy thread, so I think I'm going to use maybe orange because that kind of matches the top stitching in the other areas. So I think I'm going to do that. I guess I just placed this here randomly. I'll go ahead and glue that down there. So I'll have this little pocket on the fabric. Okay. So I'm going to just keep gluing and cutting. I have everything glued together for the most part. Some of this is still not that stuck down, but that's okay. And I'm going to use this thread here. I think that will be perfect. And I am now ready to put this under the machine and I'm going to stitch really close to these edges just so everything can be all put together as one piece. I'm just stitching right on top of the fabric and I will just stitch and turn as I get to a corner. So I'm just going to do this all around the whole project. I had to end up sewing some more fabric to the top of this edge because of the zipper and I know I can't cut through the zipper and I still want to be able to cut everything on the fold. So I had to account for the zipper. So now I can go ahead and cut this out on the fold without the zipper being in the way. This long piece of fabric came from a denim jacket and I have stopped using the glue and now I'm just pinning the pieces down. So I'm going to stitch these pieces down and then this is going to be perfect for one of the sleeve pieces. There are front and back sleeves and here are the sleeves. These are the two front pieces. These are the hood pieces. After I cut out all the pieces yesterday, I did go to Joann Fabrics and I picked up some navy thread. I picked up a zipper and then I also made sure to put in a denim needle right now just before I started sewing. So to start out, I'm just sewing the sleeves together and I'm sewing the front sleeve to the front of the jacket. This is how it's looking so far. I need to go in and just stitch along this area here. This is all open. So I need to sew that together. And let's see, here's the other sleeve. Let me show you the back. This is the back. Let me show you the sleeve on the back side. It's got a little pocket there. Here's the back lower portion and here is the other sleeve. I did put elastic around the waist. The zipper is in. Here's one of the sleeves. It has elastic at the bottom. Here is the back and because I'm putting in a hood it's going to cover most of this area here. So you won't really even see this unless the hood is up. Here is the other sleeve with the elastic and then back to the front. So now I just need to put the hood on. This is the hood and I'm going to go ahead and attach this to the jacket. But this Dream.